Hi everybody, EB here. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is what are the first things you should do after a fresh install of PC Linux OS onto your computer. Well, the first thing you need to do is update both your operating system um, and of course um, your flat packs. So down the bottom here, this is using the KDE Plasma um, desktop manager, which is great. Uh, you'll see you've got a little icon called console, which is your terminal window. Left click on that and the terminal will open up. Okay, all you've got to do to update your system is do the following. Type in SU, press enter, enter your system password. You are now logged in as super user. Simply type in APT space update and press enter and it will now go away and check all the repos it's done already for any updates. Once that's done, type in apt upgrade, and if there's any updates available for the system, it will say, do you want to continue? Just hit Y, press enter, that's it, you're done. And there you go. All the updates are now coming down for your system. And that's it, you're done. To update your flat pack repos, all you've got to do is type in flat pack space update. Nothing to do. Your flat packs are already there. Now, let's have a look what this. Uh, Yeah, close the window. Let's have a look what it comes with. So under more applications, you get an emoji selector, console and X term, both terminals. Under archiving, you get arc. Under configuration, you get configure your computer, info center, KDE system settings, K wallet manager, NTFS configuration tool, redo bootloader and wireless regulatory domain. Under editors, we get KWrite. File tools, we get Dolphin, which is your file manager. You get Gparted, Kfind, Ventoy. Under games, we get Isle Riot Solitaire. Graphics, we get Gwenview and Spectacle. Office, we get Ocular. Then we have the Software Center um, with the LibreOffice Manager where you can install LibreOffice. Synaptic Package Manager, and you also get the VirtualBox Manager. So if you want to install VirtualBox, that's the one to click on. It'll just go ahead and install it for you. If you don't want any of those, don't ever click on them. Leave them alone. Sound, you get MPV Media Player and Pulse Audio Volume Control. Video MPV Player. Power Session, Start, Shut Down, Log Out, and all the rest of it. The only two really you should be interested in is shut down and restart other than that you're done how easy was that how simple is that so let's have a look at the file manager file manager is dolphin the theming on this is standard pc linux os out of the box with it being kde plasma you can theme it however you want and make it as gorgeous looking as whatever floats your boat however again i do heartily recommend that if you're going to follow this project as I have done it, do not piss about with the operating system. By all means, change the wallpaper, change it from a light theme to a dark theme or whatever floats your boat and call it a day. Because the, the, the less you do on the OS, the longer it will run as the day is long. The more you start pissing about, well, the more you risk damaging things, breaking things or upsetting things. Just my personal piece of advice. So, okay, our operating system is completely up to date. And the first thing I can hear you say is, there's no web browser. There's no nothing. No, that's right. That's because it's a blank canvas and it's up to you to build whatever you want to build. Two ways of installing software from the software repos, number one, and from FlatHub, number two. Um, the only issue I'm going to have here is I cannot remember uh, oh actually there's another way we can do it so if I want to install something just type in flat pack space install space for argument's sake Firefox and it says look uh, actually there's no entries for Firefox on 
the uh, the remote hub available. Which one would you like to use of these four? We want to use number three, the 64-bit stable. Okay, so I'm going to type in number three, press enter. Do you want to install it from FlatHub? Yes, please. Yes, please. And that's it. You're done. <coughs> now, if you follow this method to install all pieces of software that you want to run on your computer, you're going to be in a really good place because all these pieces of software will run completely independently of the operating system. So no matter what you do in these pieces of software, they cannot affect the stability of your operating system. So just to reiterate, once you've installed it, you need to update the operating system by logging in as SU and putting your system password. Once you've done that, type in apt space update. Once that's done, type in apt space upgrade. Once that's done, update your flat packs by typing in flat pack update. Simple as that. If you want to install a piece of software directly from FlatHub without going via a web browser, again, just type in flat pack space install space in the name of the app you want to install. Now, the beauty of this is nothing is pre-installed, so we have no preconceived ideas about you, the user, whatsoever. So we're providing you with the base operating system, and then it's up to you to make of it what you want to make. You want to install Google Chrome, you want to install Firefox, Brave, Vivaldi, whatever you like, go ahead and install it. The only recommendation I have is please, please try and stick to just using flat hubs. You want to install OBS, you want to install Steam, blah, 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 blah. They're all available from the flat hub. And I will be doing quite a few more tutorials on what I think will be commonly asked questions, well, I've installed this now, I don't know how to do that, blah, 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 blah. Remember, this is really aimed at current Windows users getting off Windows and coming over to PC Linux OS. If you're a seasoned Linux user, these videos are of no interest to you absolutely whatsoever. So do bear that in mind. If any of you do need any help, do feel free to just type your questions underneath the videos and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as humanly possible. So there you can see now our Firefox is now installed. So if we close that down, click on the start menu, you should see we've got a new um, group added called Internet. And sure enough, there's our Firefox web browser. So don't forget this is all running in a virtual box. It will run a lot, lot quicker on real hardware. And there we go. Our Firefox is now up. We can skip that. We can skip that. And we can skip that. And we can start browsing. And there we go, people. It's that quick and easy. When I load up YouTube, bang, your YouTube's up. It's as simple as that. They say, bear in mind that this is running in a virtual box, so it will be slower than what it will be on real hardware. But believe you me, you'll find that uh, all these sorts of things run absolutely blistering fast on real hardware, even with just 8 gigs of RAM. I personally am running 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, but if you've only got 8 gig, that's absolutely fine. If you've only got 4 gig, well, it's still going to work just fine. It's just everything, the less amount of RAM you've got, the slower this system's going to be. Just the way it is. Uh, so, there you go, everybody. No, I didn't want to click on that icon, my fruit. I wanted to click on that one. There we go, everybody. If you want to change the desktop wallpaper, just right-click, left-click configure desktop wallpaper. And obviously, you've got all the standard wallpapers that PC Linux OS comes with. But because it's Plasma, you can just left-click on Get New Wallpapers. It'll go way out on the internet and give you the options for some really gorgeous wallpapers. Alternatively, you can just download your own wallpaper apply that so let's go for that one we'll left click install okay and now we'll go left click use and there we go we can close that down uh we will apply and oh really really 
that's the one left click apply and okay and there you go there's our beautiful new wallpaper now this is just a shortcut link here to dolphin if you don't like that sitting on your desktop you can right click left click move to trash it's gone and you've still got a nice shortcut link down here which does exactly the same thing to dolphin on your bar if any of you've got any questions uh please let me know but that's just how amazing PC Linux OS is. Yes, it is a Linux operating system, but hey, nobody cares. Nobody wants to get into, um, you know, difficult, complex routines of running things, building things, getting things to work. We just want, how do I do this? A, B, C, bang, you're done. That's all you need to do. And that is the beauty of PC Linux OS. It just works. It's a pure user's operating system. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up. I will see you for another wicked English Bob video.